Now, as you know, folks, <coughs> we are highly trained professionals here at EVBMW, so do not attempt what you're going to see here at home. Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Red Arrow. So, what we've got for you guys today is an absolute messy nasty nightmare of nct repairs because one of the questions that i keep getting asked is what's the story with the nct well i wish it didn't exist because i'm having to deal with these horrific spring compressors and you'll get to see some nice slow mos of them flying apart so do stay tuned for that this is our second one we have here We've already got the driver's side done. Bring you around to see that. Look at that nice new strut on there. Nice new spring. All very high tech, cheap aftermarket parts, as is my want with these projects, much to Dave's annoyance. Now, we have got quite a bit of stuff to uh, do on the car the first thing that we failed on as you'll see from this mess is both of the front uh, shock absorbers were shot and i figured seeing as i was in there that i would replace the coil springs because uh, they're probably the factory springs so that's all these boxes here uh, next thing we need to do then will be brake hoses on the rear wheel cylinders on the rear, anti-roll bar drop links on the front, um, anti-roll bar bushes on the front, windscreen wipers and a few other odds and sods. Uh, the good news is that my rust repairs passed, so yay. Uh, once we get these repairs done, uh, oh yeah, I've also got some brake lines in the back that I have to do. Once we get these repairs done, the Red Arrow will be basically on the road. As it is now, she's, uh, she starts, drives fine. I drove her 10 miles uh, last week there and back to the test center. I uh, was quite pleased and we will have more driving videos for you uh, once we get that uh test passed and we're effectively road legal then now inside the vehicle uh for you e36 lovers out there that still probably hate me uh we've got some m3 leather door cards Ooh, very nice and they uh certainly cleaned up the mess that uh the previous door cards were full of sand for some reason and um, we got probably like a half a bucket of sand out of the doors when we uh, took the door cards off. But um, so that's our, yeah, that's our door cards. And in EV world, we have a little guy here that I was hoping to be able to fit today. But of course, that was, uh, that was being a bit crazy, which is this little product here. Uh, I will put a link in the description for you. This little board is called the Power Watcher and I will be doing a proper review video for you once I get that fitted uh, into our high voltage connection box. Uh, but this little product, of course the guy has to go drive on the forklift right when I'm filming. This little product here, um, I believe, is designed and sold by a Ukrainian ge gentleman and is 55 US dollars. Really? Like no one invented electric forklifts. It is 55 US dollars and uh, provides a lovely Android dashboard over USB. Um, and as I say, you will get to see this very soon once we get it installed. But sadly, today we are stuck with 
this kind of repair work, which is just, uh, unfortunately, is just one of the aspects of, um, you know, dealing with a car that was abused um, and that, you know, needs needs to be taken care of. So, okay, time to get rid of the spring compressors for the last time. Oh, top nuts on. Now, put this big beast of a thing in reverse because Naturally, the battery gun decided to die on me. There we go. There's one. So naturally, of course, it gets trapped. It's off. That is about what I've got for you today. I did promise you a Red Arrow update, so there you go. We will be on the road, hopefully, uh, within the next five to seven days, and we'll have a video uh, for you once we have that done. So it most certainly uh, has not been put on the back burner. We're playing catch up fast here. Um, at least as much as those crappy spring compressors will allow me. Fortunately, got the top nut on that strut now so they can do whatever the hell they like. So, I'll leave you guys there. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will put a link in the description to the Power Watcher product. Uh, I'd highly recommend anyone looking for a budget display system for their electric vehicle to check that product out. So, uh, until next time, happy spring compressing. <laughs>